Hello everybody, welcome back to my cluttered living room for another book review. If you hear the pitter-patter of little crinkling sounds, that is one of these little fellas. They're just out and about and playing, so they they might, <laughs> thank you Noodle, they might uh, climb up on me or make a sound appearance because they're, they are, uh, <laughs> but he, they're having a they're having a good time and I just didn't want to put them back away when they were so energetic. Thank you, Bubby. So, today I'm going to be reviewing and talking about We Are in the Wrong Book by Richard Byrne. And I really like using Richard Byrne's books for story time. Um, I'm specifically looking into play as my aspect that I am focusing on because these books are very action-packed. A lot of them is you pretend to shake the book or the characters hop and you can have the kids hop along with it, but you can also have them imagine like what other sorts of books could we go into? And there's this sort of imaginative play aspect to it. Um, another thing I really like about it is that it shows all sorts of books. So like they go into a counting book. So you have counting as an opportunity. Um, again, there's a lot of jumping so you can get kids to jump along, which helps a lot for the wiggling in story time. Um, it has all sorts of different kinds of books. So you can have a conversation about them, some educational conversation by being like, this is a nonfiction book. This is a picture book. Give me one second. Sorry about that, I had a rogue ferret who was trying to climb on top of my DVD shelf. So um, again, sorry about the little break. Um, I like that there are different art styles for the different kinds of books. Um, this would lend itself really well to a craft where you could have a bunch of stickers or pre-cut shapes and you could have the characters and you could have them make different kinds of books that they could jump into or you could have them make a little booklet and draw their own story. It is, there's all sorts of good stuff. All sorts of good stuff. So without further ado, I will be reading you The Delightful We're in the Wrong Book by Richard Byrne. Sorry, I'm trying to get the whole, uh, book into frame, but this is the one way I'm filming at night. My lighting is garbage. So this is like my uh, one angle that kind of works and it's tricky to make that work, but also show off illustrations. Ben and Bella were jumping down the street from one side of the book to the other. Can you guys jump along with Ben and Bella? Bella says, I win! Then Bella's dog joined in and accidentally bumped them off the page. We're gonna bump them off the page with the dog. So let's get our bumping hands and we're gonna bump them off the page. Where's my dog? said Bella. We've got the nine pencils illustration. Where are we? said Ben. We're in the wrong book. Well, let's just jump back right into our own book, into the right book, said Ben. But they jumped into, can you guys jump again with Ben and Bella? Good job, everybody somebody else's comic book. We're trying to get back to our own book, explained Ben and Bella. We know someone who can help, said Mouse. Follow us. Ben and Bella described their book to the lovely librarian. It has tall buildings and an enormous dog. I know the book. She said, it is through there. I hope she's right, said Bella. <sighs> she wasn't. 
this isn't our book. And that's not my dog. What does all this mean? Asked Ben. I think it says, walk this way, says Bella. But things just got more and more puzzling. And Bella thought she had found the path that would take them back to their book. Instead, it led them through the door of an old cottage in the middle of the woods, and Ben and Bella went inside, where an odd-looking old, odd-looking lady invited them to stay for dinner. Thank you, but we really must get to our own book, said Bella. Ben thought he could see a way back. And here it says, danger, sharp teeth, don't swipe here. And then quick, swipe here to help Ben and Bella escape. So if you're reading one-on-one -on -one with a kiddo, they can swipe here. Or if you go to the previous page with the mazes, you could have them try to solve the mazes along with the characters. Suddenly Ben and Bella were in a book full of instructions. I suppose we could follow them, said Bella. Book ahoy, said Ben. You can also have them play by making paper boats with them, um, doing all sorts of boat-related activities. The wrong book ahoy, grumbled Bella, and now we're stuck in it. So they stuck themselves in a hot air balloon as it lifted up and up and away. The balloon landed in just the right spot. Can you, and then I like here where it says, can you tell the difference between these two pictures? And so there's a sort of comparison thing. So again, if you're reading one and one on one with a kiddo or if a kid's just looking at it themselves, they can play with the book in a number of different ways, which I really love for spotting a very helpful sign. Not at all helpful, or not a helpful sign at all. We are in a dark, scary book with a m m monster. I have an idea. Quick, follow me. And we've got a monster on that page. They both jumped through the monster-shaped hole. Yay, said Bella, we are back in our book. When Ben and Bella came back to fix the hole in their book, there was no sign of the monster. Thank goodness, said Bella. Now where is my dog? Woof. So the dog was the monster all along. So yeah, that was We Are In the Wrong Book by Richard Byrne. I just, I love all of his books. I like the art style. I think it's very cute and just nice to look at. I love that he uses different art styles for different kinds of books. And sorry again about, sorry again about that. I had to break up a woozle kerfuffle. Hi, Biscuit. Um, but yes, I will... I'm excited to see what everybody else picks, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day.